The Board of Selectmen recently met with numerous town departments to discuss the 2020 fiscal year budget. Fire Chief Stephen Slammon presented the budget requests for the Hopkinton Fire Department. Most of what we're doing is um, it's, it's service delivery and it's personnel and um, here is one of our new uh, paramedics that was hired and he just finished uh, training at the fire academy so that makes him um, street ready and um, I've covered for the last two years uh, effective response force and um, it, it takes us about a year to get somebody to that point and uh, here we were able to go out with Mr. Kamala and a few of our staff and uh, enjoy their graduation so um, it's a big deal and it's a long journey to get somebody street ready and then be effective in that equation I just like to share that with you I've talked about it in the last couple of years what's his name that is uh, Patrick Rahel. Yeah. Metals. Yeah. Basically what that is, is I look at every single request for service. I have a criteria list that shows whether we have an effective response force that goes out, and I give it a rating. So um, I'm trying in any way, based on input from you or best practices or feedback, to give a, a realistic picture of how we're doing. Any questions on that? Okay. Let me just ask, Chief, so what would you call a non-effective response what what are the factors that would make you feel the response was not as effective as you'd like sure great point so uh, a medical emergency is one of our largest categories and if we had a um it's to meet the uh, standard of care that we're looking to deliver, deliver would be two paramedics and two um, basic life support units to do the call so you might find yourself a little short-handed yeah if we were missing one of the paramedics or we didn't get a total of four to respond um, that would come up as a no in the in the rating these are the uh, the big movers on the right there's three new firefighters that's in the proposal there's a, a contractual they settled a contract last year a three-year contract that showed into this budget there was a big move in a fuel transfer there's some state requirements for some of the equipment we have in the ambulance that we have to do um, service agreements that we have no choice in so that was an increase some fleet maintenance is probably one of my biggest costs that i have in my programs and uh it's the one that has challenged me the most so i had bumped that up a little bit um just some of the uniforms that go with the teams that we do and keep us professionally looking and some of the new hires i've ticked that up a little bit and then emergency management um, just a part of our communications program I've seen a lot of the stuff that we're responsible for and there is a need to do some maintenance and have some piece together plus we do some training together in our emergency management team and I'm just trying to open up something to begin to account for that currently um, I either pick it up or the police chief picks it up in between our budgets and if we really need to break it out and do some maintenance on specific emergency management equipment so Police Chief Edward Lee shared the Hopkinton Police Department 2020 budget. He stated the police department would like to add a new position. And we're in the process of promoting two sergeants, one from the uh, position we picked up last year that will buttress the patrol force. Uh, we have a lot of young officers out there, and uh, the goal is to uh, have as much supervision as possible. Uh, the new position that I'm asking for now to, is to head the detective division, but most importantly, it is to run the prosecution uh, division for the police department, which has a huge amount of responsibility. It's currently being done by Detective Burkhardt at this time. He does a great job, but usually in those positions, you want a bit of rank so you can over, oversee, uh, respond to officers if they're not doing their cases in a timely manner and have a uh, proper paperwork that could lead to liability for the towns or loss of uh, important prosecutions. So we're asking uh, for this uh, position, which will also be able to, uh, on occasion, uh, buttress the uh, patrol for us being a sergeant. Uh, it'll be a Monday through Friday position, but I'll also have the ability to work overtime if another sergeant is not, is, is not available.